If you hunt, fish, camp, hike, do anything in the dark and you need light, I think I truly found the brightest headlamp ever. Let's go take a look. Welcome back and thanks for joining Ty the Gun Guy. So Ace Beam reached out to me and said, hey, you want to do a review on one of our lights? I said, give me the headlamp. I chose the H30, 4,000 lumen, high performance headlamp. And we're going to dive into this thing, take a look, see what you think. When you place your order for these lights, they give you an option. You can do red and green on the side top lights, red and Cree, or red and UV ultraviolet. You also get the main light beam to be 5,000 or 6,500. 5,000, I believe, is going to be more of a yellowish tint, and the 6,500 is going to be more of a crisp white bluish tint. So in the box comes uh, one headlamp, one band for around the head. You get your accessory box, and it's going to include a couple extra washers. It's going to include an extra headpiece. They're rubber on the front, harder plastic in the center. It's going to get your charging cord. And if you have smaller batteries you use in other pieces of equipment, they give you a battery shroud that you can put them into. It's like a battery adapter, so that's pretty cool. So here's what it looks like. Comfortable on the head. It doesn't weigh too much. Uh, it's definitely a robust, well-built light, but uh, on the head it's comfortable. It's not too heavy on the neck, easy to move around. You can adjust it, slide it up and down with the rubber washers. So this thing is truly, it's a comfortable headlamp for sure. Let's jump in and see what makes this thing work. I truly think what sets this apart is a 5100 battery. It's a large battery. I think it's going to hold these charge times much, much longer. And you can see the size of this thing. It is a monster. It's a beast. So I think this is what is a huge benefit of this headlamp. When you unscrew the battery cap, you're going to see they do have a washer right here. So it's going to be water resistant and submersible. Opposite end is where you charge the unit. You're going to unscrew the cap and actually stick it in the side. The USB cord actually has dual charging capabilities. You can put another unit here, such as an iPhone, something else, with one plug into the wall. So that's definitely a nice feature. It does have a red light to show you that it needs to be charged. When fully charged, it will be green. It will show you we are done and ready to rock and roll. Green. Let's jump into the operation of this thing. This light's going to have your main light in the front, and you're also going to have two options on the front side as well. And in my situation, I actually have the UV and the red along with my main beam. Pretty simple, you got your power on and off there and you have your adjustment switch right here to go through the different modes. This will also switch from the red and the UV up front. Press the power button on one time, the light turns on. Hit your different levels of the light right there from low, medium, high. Now to get to your side lights, turn the power on, press and hold the button goes red, hit it again, you got your UV. Again, you got your red, again, you got your UV. Hold it down, boom, back to the main light. Different levels, turn it off. If you press and hold the on button down, a nice little map reading light will come on, and it is like 72 hours you can leave that light on. So it's really low, and 72 hours is a long time. Press the on button three times really quick, and that will give you the SOS in red. If you press the on button twice really quick, you'll get into supercharge mode and you're going to see what it's going to do is step down here. Keep an eye on it. I'm not doing anything. It will step down, get lower, 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 boom, turns off. Right now, this is my only con about this light, the supercharge mode, and this is with any light. I think the supercharge is just too much for these small batteries. I don't think it's going to last, especially in cooler weather. It's going to kill the battery really quick. So it's not just Ace Beam. It's Olight. It's every light and headlamp I've tried. That super power just doesn't work as well as it should. All right, you can see it's getting semi-dark. The sky is light. doesn't look that light. But anyway, getting semi-dark out here. So I'll give you, uh, give you a look at these lights here. See what we got. I got it on my head. And we're going to turn it on. We'll start. Two, three, four. So there. There is the low light. Not the map light, but the low light. 
There's medium. That's your medium light right there. There's your high. And that's getting really bright. I see up into the trees. You see my shadow and this should be turbo here. That's like daytime. So that is bright. All right. That is super bright there. That's And like I said before, the Super Turbo, which we'll try, we'll cut it out. And it is fully charged. We'll double tap. That is Turbo. And what's going to happen, it will... I'll leave it on for a second here. Super bright. Super, super, super bright. So if you're fully charged on Super Turbo, for some reason it's it's working out right here with the charge. That's 4,000 lumens right there, which is freaking bright. 4,000, let's take it back down. That's low, medium, high, turbo, low, medium, high, turbo, Super Turbo. Super bright, throws a nice flood to the whole area, as you see. So it lights, lightens this up really bright and wide. And there's the pool. That's a 25-foot round pool, so it almost lights up the whole pool. But there you have it. Like it, like it, like it, like it. If you need light at night, it's bright. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and until next time, time to get guys!